Hey everyone, Chris Byron here with Lowe's. Everyone hates a tangled extension cord. Jerry! So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to wrap your cords. So this is a pretty standard method of wrapping a cord that pretty much everyone's done before. The difference is, take the end of the cord, wrap it around the body, and connect the connectors together to keep it from coming undone. This next method works for longer cords. Start by taking each end of the plug, holding them together, folding the cord in half, tie a loose knot to start your cord, and start folding the cord underneath. Now I know it looks like your cord's tied into a bunch of knots, but it's really easy to untangle. All you do is grab the end and start pulling. The cord comes out with no knots. And your cord's ready to use. So our film crew informed me they prefer to use a third method of wrapping cords they call the over-under. You start with a loop that goes over top, and then you come in with a loop underneath. And you continue over top and underneath until the cord's entirely wrapped. The downside of this method is you have to use something to tie it together so it doesn't come apart. The nice part is when you're ready to use the cord, it throws right out. Bonus tip, if you're having trouble rolling up your cords because of kinks, go ahead and lay it out on an asphalt surface and the heat of the sun will warm it up and get those kinks right out. Thanks for watching. Now we know there's a million different ways to wrap up cords, so let us know what your favorite method is in the comments below. Hey guys, DIY Guy is now on its own channel, so please support us and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. And remember, this isn't just a show, it's a conversation. So be sure to let us know in the comments below the things that you like, even the things that you don't like, so we can continue to make great content that you love. Am I doing it right? Is this it? Anybody?